Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another lipstick swatch video for you guys and today we will be swatching the new 4, um, I think 4 Winter 2020 Romance um, Lip Tints and Lip Velvet Swatches. So if you guys are interested, then just stay tuned. So here I have 3 colours out of the 8 that they released. They released 4 from the Zero Velvet line. They also like the Zero Matte line I think line and then they also released four from their juicy lasting tint line okay so um i purchased one from the zero velvet tint line because there is just a lot of reds in it which i don't think they stand out that much um because i am looking forward to a lot more browns and more unique colors like the one from bbia which i also have a video which i will link up here if you guys are interested that last shade is beautiful it's a brown that you can't really find in other you know asian markets so i think that was really really interesting but this time around not so much so i only got one which is number 18 petal tassel from roman their zero velvet tint and then two the juicy lasting tint from their four that they release as well because a lot of the colors are very red as well and a lot of you guys will have known that they are also releasing the handbook collection which the colors are more interesting to me in my personal opinion so i'll be getting the full collection of that so stay tuned for that one but um over here right now i have two of the four that they release which is number 19 almond rose and number 20 dark coconut and i'm going to compare with some of the colors that i have uh, on hand with me so if you guys are interested then carry on watching okay so let's start with the velvet tints first so this one is petal tassel it's a like a mid tone like a, a bit of like a cool pink i'm gonna swatch for you guys so this is the pink and then i'm not sure you guys can see but um the applicator it's triangular in shape okay so that's kind of new So this one on a daily basis, I will not wear it alone because I think it is a little bit too pale. Um, it washes out my skin tone a little bit. Um, so I will probably pair it in the middle of the lips like something darker like Burnt Heart, which I'm going to do a comparison swatch here as well so you guys can see roughly how the colors are. Okay, so these are the two that I have and then the applicator is also the same on Bernard but for some reason I feel like the new one is a little bit more matte and dry but as for, as for Burnt Heart, you can see like a sheen, right? Can you guys see that? And it's also softer but from what I remember, they are both very blurring effect but somehow they are a little bit on the thicker consistency so do take note and they are very opaque so yeah this is pink tassel, petal tassel. Right, so now let's move on to juicy lasting tints. Alright, I'm going to try number 19 almond rose first. Right now, I am going to try number 20, Dark Coconut. So these are the lipstick swatches and then now I'm going to compare it with two others that I have from the Juicy Lasting line. They are Fig Fig and Jujube. Um, I don't have another one which is Apple Brown but I did take a photo from my sister's one which I will leave it here now to let you guys see these swatches. Okay so right now I'm going to swatch um, all of them. Right. Okay. 
sale. I'm not sure if you guys can see, you know, but I'm just going to do what I can do. I feel like Almond Rose is more muted and a cross between Jujube and Fig Fig. Fig Fig is a little bit more pink, Jujube is a bit more coral, and but my favorite is Dark Coco. Because I don't have apple brown for you guys to see, but I'll leave a picture down, like I said. So, here. This one is almond rose. This one is dark coconut. And then this one is jujube. No, this is fig fig. This is jujube. So you guys can see. This one is more muted, and it's like a muted version of this one. Less pink, leaning a bit orange, but not that orange as well. It's just a hint of it. And this one is more orange, like coral. This one's more brown. Apple brown appears to be a little bit more like pumpkin. This one is more muted and dark. Yeah. And I am not going to swatch We Vintage Ocean as well because um, these are from the Juicy Lasting Tint, whereas Vintage Ocean, which is also a very popular color, is the Glaster Water Tint. That one is more sheer in terms of staining, and that one um, kind of appears to be having like a gloss when it's settled down, like the shine is much more strong. So, yeah. So, yes, these are the colors, and they do stain. On the lips, maybe not that fast, but they do stain, you guys can see, right? Yep. Um, personally, personally, I feel like it is good to wear tints nowadays because we'll be wearing masks for I don't know how long, but yeah, this one kind of just stays throughout the day and I like it. But if you guys are wondering, then, you know, if I wanted to try the velvet tints and whatnot, and then I can't wear these under the mask because they do transfer. Roman have a product, um, it's marketed as a lip balm but it's like a lip matter so it kind of mattifies any lipstick that you put underneath it. Um, and surprisingly this lip balm, other than mattifying the lipstick, they also make it like transfer proof. So you guys can try, I'll leave the name of the product down below so if you guys are interested, you guys can check that out. Personally, I've not tried it but I've seen on my stream, um, one of the person, they actually tried it and it does make it transfer proof. So yeah, there's just an alternative um, other than wearing liquid lipsticks you know, and stuff like that. So this is just something that I find informative to let you guys know. So yeah, I feel like out of this collection, right, um, if you have to get one, get dark coconut it's a really really beautiful color it's like um on the lips it appears to be more like a dried rose color which i think is more unique it also makes your skin looks more lively but it's not too bright or anything like that it's also pretty work appropriate without going overboard yeah so i really enjoyed this one so yeah stay tuned for the handbook collection from roman and then um i hope you guys enjoy and find this video helpful so um, and also if you want you can follow me on instagram where i will post more things that are more like um a timely update on things that you know that are coming out or anything that's interesting as well as little mini reviews of products that doesn't make it up to the videos so yeah i'll see you guys there as well so see you guys soon bye